just twist those ends, honey. Akoya said. Layers of this hyaluronic acid. I had this paper towel roll that was looking real raggedy, so I just broke it all down into these individual pieces. I'm snacking in here because I use them when I do my makeup. Hello. I love this makeup case, by the way. Keeps everything nice and neat. These brushes are clean, thank God. Let me clean this up. Yo, I feel like having clean brushes is just... <laughs> Something that I don't come upon very often. Can <laughs> you imagine? That's terrible. I'm going to get my windows tinted at BMW, and I just threw these on. <laughs> Here's my outfit. Yo, good morning. I'm packing for another trip, which which you'll see at some point, right? And I purchased these on Amazon. Not the, well, the ladies from AliExpress, but I've had, yeah, I purchased this from Amazon. And let me show you about something that I just discovered. Oh, there you go. Okay, I want to show you how to use it because I just figured it out the correct way. I didn't know how to do it correctly before. This is the hanger. And I thought it was a kind of hanger like pants where you clamp it and it opens, you put the wig underneath and you go sit down. But that's not how it goes. So this is how it looks like when it comes in the bag. It's a wig protector hanger thingy-majiggy for when you travel. But I believe you can also put this, use this at home, you feel me? To cover your wigs because if you're like me, you've noticed that your wigs be collecting dust. You know, dust is pieces of, pieces of yeah pieces of dead skin it's fabric it's fibers it's all kind of stuff you okay so you go like this to bring it down okay then you can open it very freely and i imagine that i can clip two wigs on here because of how wide it opens but i bought a box and i forget how many come in it but it's several so i can if i wanted to take several wigs with me somewhere i could do that so i'm i clipped the wig inside here and then to adhere it, you bring it back up again. Now, of course, it's poking out because the wig has, it's breathable, so it's got holes, but that's okay. So then here is the bag. It looks just like a garment bag. Isn't that the cutest? And then I zipped it down already. And I'm going to put this inside of here. This is literally a wig garment bag. I think that is so clever. <laughs> okay. Then y'all, we can just lay, lay peacefully. Then you, just, then you zip it up and be careful. I accidentally caught some of the hair in the zip in Bahamas. So just be careful not to do that. But then look, you feel me? Look at that. That is so good. And this is not a straight wig, so I folded it. Well, that's because I had this in my carry-on. So since I'm going to put this in my check, I could leave it straight. Yeah, you could leave it straight. So if the wig is long, you could do that. But then again, obviously the bottom would have to be tucked if it's a very long wig. But I like this a lot. I'm going to link this below. Good morning, good morning. Yo, look at my face peeling. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> this is actually a good thing. This is a good problem to have. Although right now, I don't have time to be really getting off this dead skin because I'm about to shave my face. It's 5 a.m. I've been up since 4.30. We are headed to Jamaica today, and I'm excited about that. I don't even know where to look. I'm not looking at you more than that. I'm really excited about that, you feel me? Feeling the vacation. And I have not shaved my face in God knows how long. So that's why I'm doing it. And you might be thinking, we just saw you do that. Well, I do this once a month, ideally. Sometimes I'll be forgetting, like, what? And it'd be all the way into the month where I remember. And how I remember is not because of the date, but because the skin is off, but because of how my face looks under my makeup. And then of course my mustache. The mustache, the peach fuzz, always reminds me like, ooh, you need to shave. So I do be doing my peach fuzz often because I can't stand it. The one on my mustache, the one on my upper lip. But as far as the whole face, I do once a month. I did, I, I did my retinol treatment the other day, which is the concoction I have for rosacea. And it has, it has retinol, niacinamide, and what's the other one? Clindamycin. And that's for the acne. And it is very strong because it's prescription strength. And sometimes it be breaking me out. Oh, well, not breaking me out, excuse me. Sometimes what I'll do is it'll resurface my skin which means that it starts to peel 
see where I'm at now, the peeling, all that skin needs to come off, but I'm not going to do any kind of peel for my, I'm not going to work on the peeling right now because I'm shaving. So what I'm trying to say basically is this is enough trauma to the skin. If I also was here trying to scrub my face or something, it would be too much. So over the next several days, this will indeed start to come off more the more that I keep my skin hydrated. But you know, I love how my skin looks like when I shave it. It does not hurt. I can quit because I've been doing this for years. Sometimes I'll have a, an irritation afterward as a result. And it's because of a product that I used. It's because of my technique. It'll be because of a product that I used afterward or before it. If I'm not paying attention, I'll be like, ooh, yeah, it was that product. If you put a product on your face after you've shaved it and, and your face starts to, ooh, this is like this one, actually, I do a dry shave, not a wet shave. You can do whatever you want. If you do, if you do notice irritation after you put something on, so let's say you put on a serum after you've done this, and then right here, I'm trying to get the skin off. That was mainly why I was going right here. You notice the irritation, you notice some kind of stinging. It goes away, right? But it still stings. That's irritation from the product. And that happened the last time that I shaved. I was like, okay, now I know not to put this product on after I shave. So, there's some learning lessons there. This skin coming off as well as the hair. So I'm doing a little exfoliation. That's why I didn't want to do that beforehand because it'll just break me out. Yes, baby. Sink in front of me is filled with hair. Ooh, my face is so dry. When I go to the hairline, I go like this so that it's not so sharp. I'm not doing a lineup right now, for God's sake. And I do my sideburns. This used to be really fuzzy. I'm, I've just always had a fuzzy sideburn. <laughs> I have fuzzy sideburns. But I do laser them, and they look so good. They look so bare. I get full body laser and that's one of the places that I laser. So yeah, this is picking up some of the dead skin, but it's not gonna get everything, which is okay. We're gonna still hydrate, right? With the with the hydration, it'll help the dead skin to melt off. It's not every time you have to be scrubbing your face. It can just melt off too, and that works as well. And that's what I'm gonna be focusing on. But I mean I focus on that all the time. My face feels so dry, it's insane. I focus on that all the time, but more specifically when I when my skin is peeling, you feel me? And what I was trying to say is that because the prescription is so strong, it causes irritation, which leads to my skin peeling. I don't, I did this because it doesn't bother me to my skin to peel. In fact, I enjoy it because I know that beneath all of the peeling is gonna be some real soft, smooth skin. That's why I say that, but that is an effect of that product being so strong, the retinol for sure. All right, I'm gonna wash my hair and then in it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna go to my cornrows because I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do wigs. This is the part where I have, this is the part where I have made a mistake in the past. And I almost made a mistake in the shower too. And I said, let me tell them when I get out. So I washed my hair. And if you don't know, what I like to do when I wash my hair is use Panoxyl, which is an exfoliating face wash for acne. It's oil soluble, so it breaks down the oil in the pores and on the skin. And it really cleans it more than just any kind of other face wash, right? And because it has salicylic acid in it. Any product with salicylic acid cleans deeply into the pores and breaks down oil. So the face wash Panoxyl has cell acid in it. I like to wash my ears behind my neck and my face. I go my, like more, more, more so my forehead. When I have washed my face, I like to use Panoxyl to wash those areas because of the conditioner that I put in my hair in the shower. This is all oh, it's done. The ordinary, the ordinary hyaluronic acid. I like to wash those areas because I want to break down the oil and make sure that there's no conditioner left on my skin. I almost picked up Panoxyl and I had to remember that I just shaved my face. If I were to put that on my face, after I've just shaved it, I will in fact, I will, I will most certainly experience irritation. My face will be irritated by tomorrow. Rashes, 
because I did something wrong. So I had to remind myself. And then just now I looked over at my skincare products on the counter and I was about to go in with some stuff that I know is going to irritate my skin furthermore. I was going to use this Coley Beauty Elixir, which is great, but it has menthol that would have burned me. Not burned, like leaving me with marks, but you know, it would have been irritating. So that's why I went and got, this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. That's why I went and got this Hyaluronic Acid because it's hydrating and it's not irritating, at least for me. You look and you see how my dead skin looking like. When I shave my face, it's important to keep my skincare routine really simple that day because again, it's raw, like I, I have to be careful. So I'm doing two layers of this Hyaluronic Acid. And then I'll do my eyes and put on my moisturizer and SPF. All right, Ula and Ula, I almost said Ula and Rixen. Ula and Rixen banana, <laughs> banana bright eye cream. And I'm in a rush right now because it's 5.45. I took way too long. I was editing this video and I never finished it. So I have to scrap all the edits that I did already because it's on my desktop. And I have to start all over again on my laptop. This is super good. Play all day. Is it? I don't want to say play all day. It's not <laughs> play everyday lotion. No, I have to scrap it, which I've had to do in the past once. It's really sick, but I have to, and then edit it on my laptop. So all I was just doing was downloading the footage onto an SD card. To then now, I'm gonna go and upload that footage onto my external hard drive that I use for my MacBook. All kinds of devices. If you edit videos, you know exactly what I just said. My skin looks and feels so good. I gotta put this up, okay? <laughs> I've been using Bicornium, Biocornium Advanced Scar Treatment per my doctor. And I do believe that it has been helping, but I believe I mentioned to you before that some parts of my scars have keloided. And anyway, you know, again, for me, like I've said in the past, this is way better of an issue. I'll take this over how I looked before. I'll take this over how my breast looked before, how my stomach looked before. The stomach scar isn't the problem. The keloids are mainly on the breast. The areola underneath on my left, not your left, it'll be my left. So part of my, I went to a doctor appointment and then we're starting, uh, what, needle, I hope, it's not needle therapy, but we're starting to go on therapy, honey, where we're going to flatten the scars, which may cause it to spread a little bit. And I was like, you know what, I'll take it. I'll take it because I can see the imprint of my keloid on the areola if I wear something without a nipple cover. And if I don't have to deal with that, I would prefer not to. Again, it's not the end of the world, but if I have an option to not deal with it, then I don't, I don't want to deal with it. So we're starting to do that. And the needle, the injections, are, we're going to do steroids, but we opted against it because there's a high probability that I, my scars would lighten and it would look like I had a light birthmark, you know, very, very light skin in those areas. Now, while that's not tragic, while that's not the end of the world, I'm cleaning my belly button with a Q-tip. Gotta clean that, right? It could smell, which I've never had, but I don't want to experience that. And then I'm putting my plug in because that's another update. <sighs> Yo, my belly button was starting to close. It not, it wasn't completely closed, but it was getting smaller and smaller. So when I was my point, they were like, we, you need to be able to put a finger inside of this. And I couldn't. So even though I'm not wearing the Skims bodysuit, I still am to wear a plug, right? Unless I'm wearing something that shows my belly button. So I was like, oh my God. And thankfully we're still within the one year. So the plug still went in. It was tough. It was, it was tough. But after a day or so, it did open and I have a plug in it. It just looked like a white. But I just showed you the silicone. It does not hurt. The lower part of my belly, but my belly is still swollen. So there's that too. So we started doing these injections called 5FU. Girl, the neat. Oh, I do I have it. mistake. I went right in with my brown sugar baby oil because I'm talking, I'm distracted. I like to do this after. I put this everywhere. I don't put the scar gel, obviously. I don't put these products on my scars. I'm talking, I got sidetracked. Lotion first. This is boom boom cream. That needle was real tiny, and that needle was, in some places, really painful. It felt like she was injecting alcohol into my skin. I didn't realize that the keloid is real tough skin because there were parts where she would put in the injection right onto the keloid and I wouldn't even feel it. And I'm like, wow, that really is thick, tough skin. I didn't even feel it. But then when she was injecting, it was like, okay, what? 
I mean, it was done in office at my appointment, and now I have another appointment, I think in six weeks. So I'll be going every time I go, then I'll know when to come back. And it's the therapy for the keloided area. There's more, I have a keloid on the whole where I had my droop here, a little one here, a little bit along the, the waist scar, but not a lot. Like I said, the majority is under the rest under the breast and around the areola and not the end of the world but if I can get it fixed why not and see here's the thing about going to now I don't know if this is everybody but here's the thing about going to Dr. Saddle all these appointments this scar therapy I'm not paying extra for it so yes the price is expensive or grip but these are the things I believe it's up to a year I don't know but these are the things that come with it if needed granted you're not gonna know that you want to use scar therapy and all of this stuff but come on son because i do i love knowing that i'm not now having to pay for these visits and pay for these incisions like excuse me i already paid an arm and a, an arm and a leg so that makes me happy that makes me happy so there's an update there i have noticed a flattening i can tell so even that one session I can tell, which is nice. Yeah, I have mentioned these brown sugar baby oils. I freaking love these. Recently worked with them. Um, I'm just black owned. Listen, you need these. This one is Unicorn Essence, just fantastic. I normally braid my hair in the shower, but let's do it out here because I know I haven't showed you my braids in a minute. I mean, you see when it's done, but not when it's, you feel me, being done. Because you might need to know how to braid. I mean, not that this is gonna, look at my breakage, good cut off my ear. Oh, Lord help us. I'm always concerned about getting this part straight, but <laughs> let's do the right thing today. So here's my hair, right? I have a length. I just have thin hair. I'm going to use this Pattern Beauty Jojoba Oil Blend. I already washed my hair, conditioned it in the shower. So let's do this. Ooh. I used to braid like this onto my head, and then I saw people on YouTube, that's why I want to show you, braiding more like this down. I thought it was so strange. I thought it was wrong. But when I tried it, I realized how much easier it made my life. So here I am just braiding and grabbing, and it just makes life easier. These braids don't need to be award winning. They just need to be braids, you feel me? Just braiding it down. Now the braids are looking long, right? When you do braids for real, they should be more wide. But again, this is just to get it done. I'm gonna spray some water oil here on the ends as I braid it down. I normally do this in the shower, so the hair is really wet and juicy. And then at the end, I will twist it like this. Oh, okay, it kind of works now. Well, the hair is a little bit damp, more on the dry side, but with the oil, okay, it'll still work. It'll still look like something. I learned this is the natural hair beauties from back in the day. When you do your twist outs or whatever you're doing, just twist those ends, honey, to keep it all together. Let's do this other side. Not great, he's trying to be like me. What anyway? Hey, and now with specs. What is the suit? Hmm. <laughs> So the airport experience is so intense. Oh. And they're very uh, direct. You want to leave me a tip? I'm like, what? Don't ask me. Let me do it. Please. <laughs>
Ooh, humid. Ooh, is this foggy still? This thing is still foggy. Oh my god. Okay, good. Wow, it calmed down out here because it was so humid when I first came out. What? But yo, it is so humid and rainy. And the good thing is that it's still hot, so it doesn't feel like a waste of a trip in the sense that it's mad cold. It's not cold, it's humid. So it's sticky, it's kind of gross. Ew, my, I need to clean my shoes. My Versace sandals are ridiculous. This is not, okay, good, yeah, it's not humid, it's not foggy. But yeah, so we're at the pool right now. This, I believe, is supposed to be some sort of live band music, something happening soon. It's not packed over here, which is nice. We're gonna go into the town on Saturday and chill here today and tomorrow. I ate and I'm not full. I'm not full at all. I would not consider myself full. Not one bit. Not one bit. Not close. <laughs> so I may snack on some early from that later. Or I may just bug it out. You know what I mean? We'll see. I'm not trying to be stuffed. I don't like the idea of being stuffed all the time. Additionally, my stomach is swollen, and so which is normal. And so is my. So are my ankles. <laughs> just sometimes more. It's annoying. <laughs> Oh, it's me. And this swimsuit is old. I wore this in Mexico years ago. But I'll link a dupe below in case you want it. But you can be out here. Be out here. It's, it's nice and peaceful, I must say. It's not sweltering. It's also not sunny. So it's just like, oh, okay. Oh, I got my GoPro 10 because we're going to get some footage in the water. Like, why not? So, yeah. Wedding happening over there. That is so cute. I will never get over a Caribbean sunset. Ooh, Lord. How cute is this? I'm getting some coffee. I'm just leaving the coffee shop and I got a coffee, a latte. You give them the sugar and they add it for you. Yo, the elevator is muggy. It's muggy, it's humid, there's no sun. I didn't realize it was rainy season. There's no sun outside. I saw sun real quick this morning over the window and then it went away. It's just cloudy gray, but the nice thing is that it's still humid so you still feel like you want to warm the water. But there's no sun. No, it was rainy season. Okay, we can go to the gym now. Okay, even the walls have condensation. I mean, there's condensation everywhere. But look at how cloudy it is outside.
Yo, I am burning up right now. Okay, let's chat. So, what are over wicks, as you saw, was so funny. It was so fun. I did it because of my mom, really. She wanted to do it. I didn't want her to do it by herself. You know, she's shy. Think about it. And an African, a Ghanaian immigrant parent. What does she, what does she want to be in the water by herself and among people that she don't know? You feel me? So, I did that with her, and that was fun. I am burning up. At first, I was thinking, dang, this sucks because it's so cloudy. It's going to ruin our whole vacation. Oh, no, ma'am. The sun comes in and out, and right now it's out. I had to move my spot because where I was sitting, the sun was burning me. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna get darker. I like it's just a, a fact, and I'm okay with that. This, the foundation that I use, 485 Fenty, is dark anyway, so it's gonna match it regardless, which is perfecto. So if you go on vacation and you don't bring a dark foundation, at least as an option or just in general, you're doing something wrong. You, you gotta you gotta bring two foundations or just start off dark because you can just expect that if you're sitting in the sun, you're gonna get darker. But I'm enjoying, I like being hot, which is, might be odd for some people, but I like being hot. So I'm okay sitting here, freaking hot. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I would love to be cooler, but I'm also okay sitting here freaking hot. That's just a fact. <sighs> I have on a swimsuit from years ago. It's giving very much family life, right? Which is, which is nice because... We're at a family resort, you feel me? I'm not trying to wear the sexy stuff here. That's just weird. <laughs> my body, this is the thing. I mean, let me say this because there's a nuance to it. For my body. Something that I might wear, somebody else with a slender, less curvy shape might wear, and it looks like whatever. Me? Bibi Kitsue, be not. Akoya said, you know, Bibi suggestive, say. So when I thought about this vacation, I said, let's chill with the stuff that I just see this, this roof of contemplation. Oh, you like that? See but yeah, yo, we out here. I I had breakfast today. Normally I don't, but I I, I was off of my routine. So when we came downstairs, I just ended up with, I ended up with a plate in my hand, and I was like, wait, what am I doing? I'm eating breakfast. I don't do this. Whatever. I need to drink more water. I say that because I like to fast. I like to get my stomach a break, and also with the insulin levels, it's just good to give, us, give yourself a break, and it helps with weight loss, weight management, management and loss. So yeah, that's why I said that. I could go to sleep. I really could go to sleep. You might be thinking, oh my god, full face makeup. I, I can't see it, by the way. So if it looks a mess, this is raw life because of my sunglasses. I can't see it, by the way. But you might be thinking, full face makeup? Yes, absolutely. Why not? Here's the thing. I don't care. <laughs> and I care. Okay, so I don't care if it, get, if it gets messed up. That's what I mean. And then I care enough to look my best. Yeah, so it's, it's twofold. And that's why I'm doing makeup poolside on vacation because I don't care and I care. <laughs> Because if anything, later on, I just when I shower, I can wash it off. That's a huge be Wash it off and then do it all over again if I feel like it's night. Or just go back and resuscitate this one. When I can see better without it moving in the harsh sun. Like, jeez, that's a huge, you know. Then I can resuscitate the areas that need resuscitation and then and, 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 and call it a night. But yeah, it's so peaceful and thankfully it's not a packed resort. You see, so there's space to maneuver. I see people getting married. Okay, you got these army men. I don't know if they're doing some kind of training. It's like, yeah, they're doing some kind of emergency training over there. Army, military, I get them confused, so forgive me. I don't even know this way. So here we are. Day two, but I need to keep you up. We should keep up there. We'll do it. Electric. What is electric? Electric system. No. <laughs> What is electric? <laughs> what is electric? What are you talking about? Electricity? Yeah. What, what kind of name? Like, yeah. ele being electrocuted. Yeah. Hey, electric. Yeah. Electric. Yeah. What kind of electricity? Yeah. Vibes on infinity. Yeah. 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 What do you mean, Fahing? On Nanti? On Fan on Fahing? Who is what? I mean, who said one night here, but there's no way say a yeah, helicopter yeah, 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 so no, I have no, I don't. I, you know what? That's a good point. I don't know. I really Can don't know. Here, bow, okay. Oh, now I sit. I sit, thanks. I sit, thank you. Until my Uber, what's up with shower sunglasses? So the Uber will be now. Oh, who said Uber? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. We want shower sunglasses, not Uber. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
This view of the pool is nice. Down there is the, what you call that? I forget. And then the lazy river is over there with the water park. Look at the mountains. In the mountains and the valley. That's where Negril is? Yes. Oh, okay. And then you can see the beach. You said you wanted to grab some souvenirs or something? Yes, yeah. Okay, we'll get that one first. Then, uh, um, and then we go and look at the beach and then we come on over to Rick's Cafe. Okay, yeah. You were talking about? Yes. You just walk up and down it and. Uh, yes. Uh. It's not yet busy, but later on we could, but since we are going and we are stopping in, we could be mad as well because they all sell the same. Same price. stuff, yep, yep. I imagine the prices would be more uh, expensive here, right? Montego Bay or? Yeah, something costs a bit more here. Oh, okay. Oh, this because area. Because it's a walking distance and a lot of hotels are popular. This yeah. is a margarita view. That's a Coral Cliff Hotel restaurant and gaming room up there. It's St. James Street. St. James Street. Always packed. Uh, That's a hustle and bustle. Mom was in Hatsa, Ghana. I was telling her that it resembles Ghana. Yeah, because all of us, all of these places were colonized by the British, right? Yeah. So they, they, they left their mark. A lot of people come and say it looks like the places remind them of India. Uh-huh. Yeah. The street walking and everything. <laughs> they just walk anyhow. <laughs> and this here is... Ahead of us, but that picture there, that's one of our national heroes, Sam Sharp. Oh, all right. That's his picture there. So this area is named after of him. It's the known area. as Sham, Sam Sharp Square. Ah. Oh. Yes. See his name and this picture there, Sam, Sam Sharp. Uh -huh. Died 1832. There's the cultural center there, which is known as the Montego Bay Civic Center. <laughs> with all information about him and others. Montego Bay Civic Center. Oh, okay. Is it like a museum? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Where's the camera from there? This is Sam Sharp. Oh, freedom fighter, yeah. Uh-huh. And it separates these two parishes. Oh, okay. So, as soon as we, we left St. James, now we are on the border. As soon as we go across, we are in Hanover. Oh, okay. Is that the sign there, you can tell. There's one and there's one there. Oh, it's a tight spot. Oh, mm -hmm. it's very tight. It's a good thing the vehicles are small. Like, this minivan is slim. They don't park properly. That is the problem. Oh, it doesn't turn well. <laughs> So we're outside of Juicy Patties. We stopped over here to go to the restroom, and there was a sign in red that you had to buy something to use their bathroom, which is fine. 
So we bought patties, and this patty is not that good. You would think that in the hotel they made food differently, and I, I would think that this is the more authentic patty, and maybe it is, and so I don't like the beef patty. The patty at the hotel, absolutely love it. Been in the car for a long time. We left at 9:30 and it's 11:14. For the international airport carry me. All right. So here we are. Sorry? Oh, good. Okay, thank you. Four for 20. Okay. Oh, I like these. We got some authentic jerks. Oh, dragon fire pepper sauce. This is what you can tell is authentic. Very hot. Hey. Place. Sweet spice ting. Yeah. Yes. The oxtail. Can I substitute the rice for something different? No. Okay. The oxtail, no rice though, and then I'll the curried veggies. What kinds of veggies is it? Okay, let me let me do the oxtail and then the curry veggie, please. Uh, water, please, bottle. You're on quite a journey with us today, Tommy. You're part of the family today. Yes, <laughs> I'm so happy to be. Yep. Chicken soup. Oh, that's chicken soup. Go. Oh, they sit at that table because the lady got up and she's taking their order with the two braids. Yo, we are back at the pool and coincidentally back at my same spot that I was in yesterday. Yo, waiting an hour at that place was so tragic and the driver was so upset. I mean, I don't blame him. This is his, his area and he's like, this is unusual and unacceptable. I shouldn't have brought y'all here. And it's like, uh, yeah, I get it because our whole journey was so long that it was like, well, we just sat here for a whole hour. So that happened, and then we went to this other place. I forget the name, and we did a pickup order, and the food was okay. I have to say, I'm surprised. The food here, I would have thought was more mainstream, and then being in the town would be more authentic. And if that is the case, then that means that I prefer the food here at the hotel, because the beef patty here was way more delicious and creamy than the beef patty in, in the town. The town beef patty, the inside of the beef, was, where the beef is, was more like a soup. Whereas the one here was more creamy. It felt like it was almost like a mashed potato. So I just enjoyed the one here and it just had better flavor. It just was different. So I was shocked. I was like, uh, what? And then the curry goat, it was not what I expected. It wasn't as flavorful. I don't know. Maybe it was that place, but I just expected it to be like off the chain and it wasn't necessarily. But anyway, it was what it was. Going into the town was so nice. I was like, this is the authentic experience to at least be able to see lots of places so that was nice and hopefully you enjoyed seeing that and now we're back here and i'm not interested in going in the pool so nini is in the pool and i'm just here chilling because what else am i here to do but enjoy my life it's a lot cooler right now it's a lot cooler which is nice and they're playing football people are playing football in the pool and here i am just chilling I cleaned this lens three times. It's mad hot and sunny out here. It is early too. It's not even nine yet. I'm on the way to the Lazy River. About time I go under Lazy River. Is this funny? It sure is. About time we actually go to the Lazy River. Excited about that. <laughs> so, here we go. Oh, recycles swimsuit from Fashion Over Years Ago. Family friendly style because all my latest ones are not family friendly. <laughs> 